won't be telling the children's story today. I'm just preparing the chair for Sister Sharon. You know what the chaplain is? 
The chaplain is like the pastor. He was the pastor there in the prison, and he would visit all the, all the fellows there. When the, pa when the chaplain came to visit him, he told the chaplain about his vision and how he asked God to forgive him and confess all his sins. And the only one thing that the prisoners can have to read in the prison is, what do you think? The Bible. So the pastor gave him a Bible, and he began to study it. Then shortly after that, or a while after that, he was finally, his term that he was told he had to be in the solitary confinement was up. And then he got to go back into the prison with the other prisoners. And so what do you think? Do you think he started telling the other prisoners about Jesus? Amen. Yes. But you did the other prisoners like it? Many of them didn't. And because they didn't like him telling them about Jesus, they were mistreating him. They did unkind things to him. Do you think that made him stop? No. Even with a pile of the Holy Spirit, he says, I'm going to keep right on telling all the prisoners about the Bible and what Jesus has done for us. It's so in the letter to Timothy, the Apostle Paul talks about the power of Christ to change lives. Now, he certainly did change Casey's life, didn't he? <laughs> He sure did. So, <clears throat> God calls us from lives of wrongdoing to follow and serve Jesus. So like Casey, we can experience God's grace and know that the Holy Spirit empowers us to be a living witness for Christ and His love. So through the Holy Spirit's enabling, we can share the good news that we know about God and Jesus, can't we? So we can tell our friends if they don't like it, but we can pray for them anyway, can't we? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for offering us a new calling through your Son, and thank you for giving us the Spirit to live inside us, to guide and empower us to serve you. We thank you, Father, for all your gifts of love to us. And I pray that you'll be with all these young people and they will grow up loving you and sharing your goodness to others around them. I pray in Jesus' name. <coughs> Amen.